All right, Tim, just the three runners on Saturday, starting off with the fifth race, first leg of the jackpot, Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, it's been a bit disappointing up until now. Um, his last runner was in the wet. He's, he, he definitely, his, his action and his he's got small little feet, wouldn't have appreciated that, and especially over 2,000. So back to the mile on what should be firm going. Um, I think he'll improve quite a lot. In the ninth race, you're represented by both Burning Rock and Miss Bulsara. Yeah, Burning Rock's got a good draw, finally. Um, she's been very unlucky there. If she can get out, have you know, be handy for nothing on the rail, I think she'll have a big chance, especially now that she's come down in the ratings. Um, and Miss Bulsara will first, first run out of the maidens. You, you never know. She won, a, she won a very weak maiden last time. Um, so we've just got to see where she actually fits in. But, she, you know, she looks well enough. She seems to have gained her confidence, if nothing else. Oh, we hope so. You know, she's, she's a little girl. She's not a big filly, but she, she seems to try quite hard. So, like everything, you just need a, need a bit of luck and need to hope that they're well on the day. Adam, starting off in the first leg of the place accumulator, you've got uh, Flying Fable. Uh, Andrew, uh, Flying Fable, first time we took her to the races, not uh, really tuned up, a little bit underdone, and uh, she she raced a bit green at certain points in snatches, and she still ran a good second, which we were really happy with. Being a dynasty filly, we expect room for improvement the older she gets, um, and with the experience, we think she could be a big runner on the day. Lovely. Then you've got a little bit of a break, and you move on to race six, where you've got three very high-quality individuals, including... Ishfan, Rock Brun, who obviously started his career late, and then Spring Steel, who's in a rich vein of form as well. Yeah, Andrew, Spring Steel is definitely in a rich vein of form. He's been running consistently well of late. Um, on collateral form lines, effortless reward looks like the horse to beat. Um, I see that the computer form has tipped wrecking ball, um, and she's a consistent filly as well that keeps running well. Rock Brun is a horse that is on the up, so even though on form lines, he may be a length behind effortless reward. He is improving. And Ishvan's the type of horse that if he if he brings his A game to the race course, you know, he could beat anything on the day. So he's, you just got to hope with him that he does come and uh, he feels like running on the day and he could be a big runner. But all three horses are working well and they're coming there in good condition and they'll all have a fair chance of shouting out the winning spot. Then a, a very interesting race. It's a high quality race and you've got... Amsterdam, who was contemptuous in the way in which he won last time out with Pierre Stradamon, leading them a merry dance. And also there was a, a lot to like about the way Happy Pills quickened last time out. Yeah, Happy Pills is definitely a horse that's been improving and we always said he would be a better late three-year-old, four-year-old. And being able to give him the time now, he really started has started to mature into a nice individual. Um, Amsterdam's a horse that uh, I think we've really started to get to the bottom of him of late and he's enjoying his work. He seems to have strengthened up a hell of a lot. His last victory came out oozing with a lot of confidence and he's, in, he's even been showing it at the track. So both horses once again are coming to the race course in good condition and just hopefully we have a lot of luck running and things go our way on the day and it would be lovely if the Azzy couple could run first and second. Yeah, when you look at form, Dafik looks like he may be a horse to beat, also a horse that is on the up, them now stepping him up in distance. Be interesting to see how he goes, and you've always got to respect, to respect Mr. Lecoq's horses. He always brings them into to the racetrack in fine condition. Brilliant, and then the last race of the afternoon sees your uh, entry, Solar Quest. Solar Quest, uh, she won a work rider's first time out breaking a maiden. Her next run out of the maiden was a little bit disappointing, but she came out of the run with one or two niggles, which we feel we've gotten to the bottom two, so we're hoping for improvement, and then we can get a true reflection of her first run out of the maidens and see where we can go from there. Matthew, starting off in the first race of the afternoon, we start off with Wheel of Time. Yeah, thanks, Andy. Um, he ran two nice uh, first races, third and third. A um, little bit disappointed in his second effort, as I, as I thought he, he would win. Um, and it looked like he had the race won. Um, Anthony felt he shirked it a little bit. So I'm hoping that he's, he's not the type that isn't honest. Um, might just change a few things on Saturday. And uh, he's in good form, expecting another good run. Fantastic. Then uh, onto the first leg of the place accumulator, we start off with Awafi. Yeah, she's... Um, She's an okay type. She's just been showing okay work at home. Um, she'll probably be in need of the run and, and improve from this. 
I suppose the commentator is delighted that uh, the next horse is not in the same race as Awafi. In race four, we've got Mujafi. Yeah, he's a nice type of horse who's been showing us good quality work at home. Obviously, not sure what to expect first time at the races, but um, if he brings his homework, I would be disappointed if he wasn't in the first three. And then what might just be one of your best runners on the day is uh, Dafik in quite a competitive race with, I would think, probably Amsterdam and Happy Pills to beat and maybe the Terry runner. Yeah, he's, he's a smart horse, um, showing us a lot at home. Uh, it's time for him to, to reproduce that though. He had his first run as a gelding last time and the form has stood up with Shiza Giver running second in the Garden Province. So um, his prep's been good for this race. It, it's going to be tough. I mean, he's a three-year-old, only a two-time winner, giving weight away to older four- and five-time winners, which is never easy. But it'll be a nice race to, to see where we are with him. And um, I think win or lose, we'll, we'll give, him, give him a break after this and do all these vaccinations. So they, they presumably looks like there might be a long-term plan with this guy. Yeah, you know, on what he shows us at home, we can map out a long-term plan. But like I said, he's got to go and do that at the races. So I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I just want to see what Saturday brings and uh, we'll go from there.